High five signs, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Ascendant, Sun, Moon, Venus, Rising. Welcome to your tarot love messages. Today we're going to take a look at and see what or whom are you manifesting into your life next, okay? So it is going to be a general reading. Please just be mindful of that. If you're after a personal tarot reading with myself, please feel free to reach out and inquire. I will list my email address just below the video here where the show more section is. Otherwise, guys, let's take a look and see... What are your manifestations and when are they coming into fruition next? Wow, some very fast and exciting things are happening for you here. the deck you've got the seven of wands okay and this is your uh, this is the energy that crowns the reading and that's interesting because I feel like the seven of wands is kind of not a warning but I feel like the seven of wands is like I guess advice here You may feel like you're being challenged uh, by the universe or you know you're being challenged by others when it comes to um, proving yourself or when it comes to manifesting certain things or certain people in your life here you could feel like your energy is maybe under attack or you you could be in a position where you're blaming yourself if your manifestations haven't come into fruition, like if that ideal job or that ideal partnership or partner hasn't manifested in your life yet just yet, you could feel as though, you know, it's like you failed in, in some way here. Or you could feel very um, like you're taking the blame here. Okay, the challenge with the seven of wands here is that I feel like it comes from inside you, this energy. Okay, it, it's this... It indicates that maybe you feel like your choices and your manifestations are in some way under attack and you feel like you need to protect or defend it here. To me, this card is really telling you that you kind of have to... It's like you have to fight. You have to stand up a fight for what you believe in. So technically that means you cannot waver, okay? Because there are some amazing manifestations and amazing things happening for you. But you cannot waver in your beliefs here, okay? You cannot try to manifest someone or something and then deep inside of you don't believe that your manifestations are possible or don't believe that your manifestations are going to happen for you here, okay? Um... To me, it feels as though, I feel like you are very passionate, given the fire energy, you are very passionate about manifesting a certain person or a certain relationship. But at the same time, I feel like there's something about your energy here that feels like your beliefs or your manifest, or you kind of waver with your manifestations and you can't do that here, okay? Um, you, you can't be worried about what other people think or, you know, you can't be worried, you kind of have to... Don't allow yourself to compromise um, on your thoughts, on your beliefs, and on your manifestations, basically, okay? If you want that ideal job, if you want that ideal career path, that ideal partnership, that's what you want here. Go after it, okay? And believe in your manifestations. Make sure you're in sync and in alignment with them, okay? Because the Seven of Wands energy feels like you're wavering. And, you know, definitely it's encouraging you to stand confidently, in your manifestations and in what you believe in here now with the page of wands here this is a very um exciting kind of energy because to me it feels like you're manifesting a new opportunity here 
okay a new opportunity that is coming into your life it could be a new romantic opportunity a new romantic energy it could be a new business opportunity here but you're also manifesting this kind of free spirit energy and this um you could be redirecting your energy as well onto something it feels like new it could be something that is renewed but it definitely feels like it, it comes in the sense of a new form here um you could be taking inspired action here Okay, taking action on some sort of inspiration is what I'm seeing. You could be inspired to make a move towards someone. Um, you could be inspired to find growth or to find potential in some unlikely places, in some unlikely circumstances here. See, the Page of Wands energy is kind of like it's he's energized by his ideas. Okay, even though and he, even though he might only see the vision in his mind, but he, He's energized by that, okay? He's someone who is gifted with seeing the bigger picture, you know? And he's someone who feels as if he can make anything happen. And he's not restricted by his circumstances. So to me, it feels like you're in a position where you're inclined to give anything and everything a go. You're, you're manifesting new opportunities, which are going to put you onto a new path, a new journey, a new chapter, or a new project here. And it doesn't necessarily, it feels like you're really excited or get excited, if you're not, about the new, all this newness and new opportunities and possibilities that are coming your way here. And to me, it feels like you're on the way to manifesting a dream that you've harbored for so long. You could also be manifesting a new person who comes into your life who's going to help you achieve that dream, okay? They could play a very significant and very important role in helping you achieve that future dream you've always wanted here. Now with the Seven of Cups, I like this energy because to me it feels like you are manifesting um, like a lot of desirable gifts, much like the Seven of Chalices. You know, you've got jewels and a reef of victory, but amongst those chalices, you kind of also have some not desirable gifts, like, you know, some have shadows and monsters in them. So make sure, I feel like this is just kind of like a message from the Tarot Guides to make sure that your manifestations aren't just like based on illusion or based on fantasy that they are in tune with who you are they are in tune of your in tune with your higher self and this is something that feels very fulfilling and very rewarding to you because from far away look all those you know seven chalices glisten with promise but when we look at it closely only several of them are you know um positive so to me it feels like the manifestations that you're complement uh, contemplating here and this feels like it's a representation of everything you're trying to manifest. And a lot of it will come into fruition. And But some of those manifestations are maybe ultimately not best for you. So you might have to go back and, you know, kind of rework or trying to focus on what it is that you're manifesting. Make sure it's what's best for you. Not what's best for someone else, but what's best for you here. So you're going to have a lot of choices that, and a lot of decisions that you're going to be presented with and you're going to have to make here. But make sure that, and make sure you do take advantage of the choices and decisions here. And make sure that you make the, make the best choice for you here. Because some of your manifestations, absolutely, they're filled with wonders and treasures. But some have some shadows and monsters in them. So just go back and maybe rethink that. Now, Eight of Wands energy, I feel like something here is happening very quickly for you. This could be a new romantic energy that you're manifesting. And that, that person is going to show up in your life very quickly. It could be in a matter of hours, days, or weeks here. You could be trying to manifest someone coming back into your life for a reconciliation or reconnection. That's also indicated in the cards for you here. So this is movement. This is a very fast-paced kind of energy. Um, action, alignment. It could also be travel. Some of you... You could be manifesting travel here, relocating here, traveling in the new year maybe. Um, the the way that the eight of staffs, the rods, or wands, whatever you will, fly through the air here, um, and that's such a high speed, definitely do not change. Okay, and it definitely feels like it's very free flowing because there's nothing in the way here. So. It, your manifestations are coming to you. You just have to believe in them, believe in yourself here. This card contains such a high level of energy here. It feels like your manifestations, you're getting closer to them. So if they haven't shown up in your life just yet, they're on their way here. And it feels like you're going to be in a position where you're really going to become really good at this whole manifesting process. And you you'll start to see that things start showing up in your life a lot quicker. 
um, and a lot more faster pace here. So expect for some very exciting changes, new romantic opportunities, new business deals, new connections here, new beginnings here. Expect to see a lot of progress, especially in terms of manifesting maybe new goals or, you know, new desires here. It's also a card that encourages you to go with the flow. So if things start showing up in your life, it's because you're in alignment here. You could be manifesting a new uh, partnership, a new connection here. You could be maybe... Uh, elevating the status of your relationship here. Um, it, you could be manifesting this Ten of Cups idyllic scene in your life here. Someone that you're going to potentially, it feels like a forever person, someone you're going to potentially settle down and get married with, someone who is going to give you that happily ever after storybook romance you've always craved and you've always desired here. Um, you, you're manifesting a lot of good energy here, all the right people, the right circumstances. Use this energy to feel positive change and produce some very positive and very significant results in your life here, okay? You're also becoming a lot more committed here. I'm seeing commitment on the cards for you, so you're becoming a lot more committed to your goals, to your um, desires, because it's not enough. You can't just order from the catalog of the universe, sit back and think it's going to show up in your doorstep. Well, it will if you're in alignment with it, but if you're not in alignment with it, if you're not taking that necessary action to supplement those desires, unfortunately, you know, your delivery won't come through. So it's important to make sure what you're manifesting is what you want. It's a direct reflection of your energy, your higher self and what it is that you're seeking here and that, you know, determine what you want to manifest basically and then align all of your energy mental, emotional, physical, all of your resources to focus on that particular or that singular goal, okay? Not not all these manifestations all at once that you can't give each the time and the energy that they deserve, okay? You can have it all, maybe not all at once, but you can have it all is, is what we're getting here. Um, and the seven of cups, uh, the seven of, uh, sorry, pentacles here tells me that for some of you, some of your manifestations are going to take a little bit longer here. But the Seven of Cups, you know, is asking you to think about the long-term benefits. So some of them gonna, are going to require a little bit more work and time and energy and effort in having them achieved and having them come to fruition. And that's okay. Just be patient with the process here. Because um, this is also a card of waiting. So, you know, it, it, the seeds that you plant today will definitely come to fruition. But this... This is talking about putting in the time and energy in your manifestations now to achieve that longer term reward here. Okay, so if it's a business deal, if it's a business idea, if it's a partnership of some sort, or it feels like it's something long term here. And if it's not happening now, it doesn't mean that it's not happening at all for you. That's not what it means. It just means you have to be a little bit more patient. It's, it's a card that reminds you to be patient, reminds you not to exhaust yourself or not to be too hard on yourself it will happen for you so just make sure you're putting your attention on the right things and on the right areas on the right manifestations instead of just wasting your time and your effort on tasks that might not be worthy of your manifestations um and it's also a card to remember to look at the bigger picture okay just hold the bigger picture in view so if something is not happening for you right now it just means that it's taking a little bit longer to manifest. And if the universe is making you wait for it, it must be worth it, right? Um, you're going to be reaping the rewards here. Something that you're putting your heart and your soul into, whether it's a relationship, a business idea, um, a personal endeavor of some sort, you're going to reap the rewards, And this is something that it feels like it's it's nearing its co its culmination. So you'll see tangible physical rewards for all your hard work and your efforts soon. And you're also manifesting uh, material wealth here. Okay, so be pre be patient, be appreciative of the progress and the hard work you've put in. And if your hard work has not paid off just yet. Maybe you need to be realistic about your expectations or just a little bit more patient. Alrighty, guys, those are your messages. Thank you as always for watching and listening. Please show your support by liking, sharing, subscribing. Good luck with the whole manifesting process here. Good things, great things are happening for you. A lot of exciting things are happening for you. Get ready.